We have a maxillary left central incisor that has some recurrent decay, a small post, and a fracture. Our intent today is to remove this tooth using the physics forcep, maxillary anterior physics forcep, to do an atraumatic extraction in preparation for a single dental implant. It's very critical that we maintain the buccal or facial bone when we're placing our dental implants and the physics forcep will allow us to do this very predictably. When we're doing an atraumatic extraction in preparation for an immediate implant, the first thing we need to do is to flatten the palatal surface of the tooth so that our forcep has a good positive seat. If you could open for me. So what I'm doing is simply flattening out the root structure about six millimeters down. Now if you remember I said that this tooth has a small post so I'm going to predict that the crown's going to come off first prior to us removing the root. But let's give it a try. We're using a maxillary anterior physics forcep to remove tooth number nine. And you can see the flat blunted end which will engage the palatal surface. Then you have the bumper. We have a little bumper pad on here which will engage deep into the vestibule uh, on the facial surface. So what I'm trying to do is simply engage that facial, that link palatal bone. So the physics forcep is engaged on the lingual surface, root surface, and the bumper is engaged deep into the vestibule on the facial or buccal surface. And what I'm simply using is a little bit of rotation of my wrist, not of my arm. I have very, very little pressure on the forcep. The hardest thing about this procedure is it just takes a little time. It may take a minute to get the extraction. And as dentists, we always want to rush, but we don't want to rush in this situation. I can feel a little bit of disengagement. I'm just rotating my wrist. And what I expected happened, the crown with the short post came out. Now I'm just engaging the root. Sometimes it's a little helpful if you have a little purchase point with your finger, but for this video we won't engage that. And I'm going to go real slow here. Do you see, you heard that little pop? And the tooth engage, it disengaged. I'll simply take a little, little forcep. And remove the tooth. And you can see the buccal plate is intact. We just got this very, very oddly shaped central incisor tooth. Very, very nice. How's that feeling? Okay. No big deal? No. Now let's just make sure that our buccal plate is intact, and it is. I can feel it all the way down. We want to curette the area, and now we're going to place our dental implant. You can section. So I'm going to place our implant with a pilot drill. We want to look at it in different positions, and we're just a little bit lingual. and we're engaging bone. Next, we're going to go to our next size drill, which will be a 3.5 by 10. Just engaging 
the osteotomy that was created. Finally, we're going to use the 4.3. Now, because the tooth that we took out is elliptical in shape and our implants are round, we're going to augment the defect that was created with some tricalcium phosphate material. And the first thing that we do with this technique is we're going to harvest some of the blood from the socket. And you can see I'm just drawing up the patient's own blood. And we'll go ahead and add it to our tricalcium phosphate particles. Now bleeding in this situation is very, very good. It's, it's a positive thing. And so we're just going to take our carrier and kind of fill the socket slightly with our tricalcium phosphate and blood mixture material. Not overpacking, just placing enough material, just placing enough material to fill in the little defect that we made. So we have the implant in ideal position. We try to establish the length according to the apices of the adjacent roots. We do have the floor of the nose and the incisive foramen in this area. We're approximately three millimeters from the adjacent CEJ and we are going to achieve an outstanding emergence profile for an all, pro, all porcelain or zirconia final crown, um, which will be wonderful. You can see the grafting material filled in any small defects that were uh, present in, in this situation.